All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic scrapbook page. So you can see here in Photoshop, I have my mask open and I have this corner embellishment and I have the background paper that I'm going to use. And here I have the photo. So to start, let's check the image size of this photo. I'm going to change the resolution to 300 and it's too big so let's see I probably want this to be about maybe 11. Alright then I'm going to do control A, control C to copy, go to my paper and then control V all right, so now my photo is here. Let's go get the mask. All right, so control A, control C, and control V. Okay. I think that I want the mask to be a little smaller, so be sure this is highlighted over here and control T to transform. And I'm just I just want the girl in this. So I'm gonna position this over. Let's see where is she? There she is. I'm gonna make this a little thinner too. Okay, then hit enter when you're finished. Now, to use a mask, you want the image that you want to show on top. So I've moved this up here. And then right click, create clipping mask. And there you go. So it has taken out the part that is not in this black. So I select both of these layers with the control button. I hold the control button and they will both be highlighted. Then I get my move tool over here and I'm gonna move it into somewhat of the center. Okay, and now I'll go here, control A, control C, control V. All right, so let's put this guy up in the corner. Now, it's black. I don't think I want it to be black. So, double click on the layer. All right, so your layer style will come up. First, let's change the color. So let's go to color overlay. Click on this color. What color should we make it? We can, if you come out here, your little eyedropper. I can pick this pink color. Maybe make it a little darker. Too dark. Okay. So that's good. I hit OK. And I also want to give it some texture. So I'm going to go here to bevel and emboss. And you can play around with these different you see it changes how it looks so you just kind of drag them around see how it looks all right and you may say okay so now I've got that I think I'll put one in every corner so right click duplicate okay drag it over with my move tool that I need to transform so control T if you hold down shift it'll make sure that it's straight all right then move this guy up you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move things more exact all right then 
The shortcut to duplicating a layer is Control J. All right, so I got another one. Drag it down here. Control T. Hold down Shift. Hit Enter. Use the arrow keys to get it in place. All right, one more copy. Control J. Control T. Hold down Shift. Enter. All right. There you go. If you hit F, you can see it in full screen. My screen's a little small. All right, and there you go, a finished page.